we have indeed we raced down here to try and see if we could get on a bit of a Ferrari safari and as you can see the two brothers are just disappearing into the long autumn grass south into Mala Mala and you can see look at the size of their tummies they obviously had a really good meal at some point today so the two of them are probably going towards a water hole that is not far from here and maybe that's where they're going to rest I'm hoping that that is the case that they go onto the dam wall because we can often see that dam wall quite nicely but there you go the two of them are there and they might scent mark at that fallen over tree they often do it's one of their sort of marking points you find they'll lift their tail there we go and you're going to spray and you'll find the next male will do the exact same thing on the exact same tree they often utilize that fallen over stump to mark their territory now I know it is very far away but it's still so good to see them and to see the two of them back together this is the first time actually that I've seen the two of them back together since they did rejoin so it's really good to see the boys back in town and back together again now like I say I think they've had a really big meal I saw Peter from Encoro earlier and he was telling me that they were chasing impalas and I think he said that they caught one at Encoro this morning so that's why they've got such big full bellies but you can see they just melt into that grass from a distance it's almost impossible to see them when they go low in the grass now there's the other brother he's going to mark on the exact same spot so you see he's sniffing around so he'll be just smelling just to see if there's any sign of other cheetah that could have been around like males or females and then he sprays on the other side now so they've definitely covered that branch in a lot of urine and that will signal to any other individual that this is their territory now I believe a lot of you are excited that you're seeing the two cheetah brothers it is exciting spending time with these two is so so good and Sebastian and I were actually talking about it the other day when we were on walk um, which was about a week ago just over a week ago and he was telling me that he hasn't seen a cheetah in like six seven years and that he has bad luck with cheetah so super happy that we can see them and that he's got a chance to see them again I'm sure yeah. he's beaming from ear to ear behind the camera <laughs> yes, we can show them how far they are, Seb. <laughs> so Seb's going to show you exactly how far they are from where we are and just how incredible these cameras actually are that they can pick up these cheetah from such a long way away. This is why they like it here is because of how open and how easy it is for them to be able to see prey items. So there you go. You can see <laughs> from there. It's impossible to see those two cheetah, but luckily we have the technology to be able to go right in and be able to actually see the two of them as they disappear into the long grass. But like I was saying, I'm hoping there is a water hole there with a little sort of dam wall, and I'm hoping they're going to go lie on top of the dam wall because it's actually quite nice from up there. We should be able to get a clear view of them. Now they've gone into a little bit of thick grass, and it's really almost impossible to see them, even with the naked eye now I've lost sort of sight of them so I'm hoping they're gonna to go towards that dam wall and we'll be able to get one last little look at them before they then disappear but it's really good news because in a few probably tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon this will be a great place to check and if not tomorrow the next day they'll come back and use the same route to go back north this is their favorite place to cross in and out and they use this to sort of traverse their territory and make use of it so this is a really good place to be for them now we're going to try to see if these guys do go into the dam wall and while we do that Taylor is still walking around and still looking for all the little things so let's go back across to her.